Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at uh, this new app called uh, Jet by Jira Align. So as you already know, I guess, I hope that uh, I review apps uh, regularly. I keep an eye on uh, the marketplace listing of uh, Atlassian tools and whenever I encounter any new app, I quickly download it or install it on my Jira instance and I try to do a quick uh, evaluation or maybe a kind of a review so that I can give my feedback and uh, I can also share the uh, usage of the apps that you can also potentially use. So today I was uh, looking at the marketplace and I was surprised to see that there is an app by Atlassian called Jet by Jira Line. So we all know about Jira Line. Jira Line uh, is uh, a tool that uh, Atlassian recently uh, partnered with uh, to basically provide the safe capabilities when you have to scale up the uh, agile in your organization and you are looking for a tool. Uh, so there's a tool called uh, Jira Line for that. And uh, if I look at this uh, marketplace listing, it says uh, Jet by Jira Line. And uh, I'm sure it is not really trying to bring in the safe uh, cap safe features or all the uh, all the possibilities for implementing safe. But I think uh, uh, it is more about uh, doing some analysis. And uh, when I look at the marketplace listing of this app, it says... Uh, uh, Jet analyzes each team's ability to collaborate and manage work across teams. And uh, and there are some screenshots that talk about uh, Jet Agile at scale analysis for Jira. Jet is a tool for examining your team's use of Jira to ensure you are ready to scale your Agile practices. So I think it will do some analysis of uh, the boards. And the second uh, screenshot uh, is trying to show Agile at scale readiness assessment. And I think it will give some uh, suggestions. And uh, there is also some uh, some option to analyze multiple board boards maybe. So let us take a look. And the good thing is that this app is actually available on both uh, cloud and server. And I actually installed the app on my cloud instance of Jira and my server instance of Jira. So I just want to you know do some uh, some some reading of uh, the of the marketplace listing. So it says uh, running this analysis will help your agile teams and programs prepare for uh, scaled agile by highlighting the areas that need remediation to provide consistent reporting across teams while helping to drive outcomes across your organization. So you are free to, you know, take a look at the marketplace listing and uh, uh, and the key points or, you know, the bullet points uh, talk about uh, tie work being done to the strategic objectives. They're talking about uh, epics that are not tied to any stories. Uh, they're talking about the progress of the work, real-time progress of the work by looking at some of the reports, I believe. And uh, they're also talking about uh, see which stories are missing story points, uh, view Apex uh, uh, missing versions. And the last point is ensure one project is assigned to a Jira board. Only one project is assigned to a Jira board. So let us take a look at the app. And uh, if I go to my cloud instance of Jira, I have already installed this uh, app on my instance of Jira. And I will probably... Uh, uh, click on the link on the left hand side if I look at the uh, sidebar. So there is a link called uh, Jet under Jira Line. So this option, you will you will get this option when you install Jira Line on your instance of Jira. And right now I'm on cloud. So there is some kind of a wizard where you have uh, uh, the option to basically uh, go through this uh, process. So you will first uh, select the board and uh, maybe do some configuration and then do some analysis. So let us do some analysis. And if I click on the boards, uh, you can uh, see here that uh, I can select boards. So let me select maybe, I think, uh, all of the boards. So we have some data to analyze. And I think more data is better, better for our analysis. So I think uh, 
it is now asking us to map your configuration so we have to map a story point custom field to i believe story point which is uh, by default epic to epic story issue type to story subtask to subtask bug to bug and analysis start date uh, is of course today so i think these fields are populated for you uh, but i think you can change it so let us click on the uh, button called analyze so it is doing some analysis i believe or it has done some uh, some analysis so yeah it is doing some analysis i think it will uh, go through all the boards uh, one by one and uh, it will uh, tell you that out of five uh, how many checks have passed and so on so let me click on maybe one of my board or uh, i'm not sure if i uh, should wait for the uh, analysis to complete so it says on the uh, on the main section here that view your board's results learn which checks require changes and so on so let me click on the first one so yeah you can uh, click on it while the uh, checks are still happening so it says that i mean it, it will give you some kind of a summary where uh, by the way let me just you know, collapse my sidebar so we have more space to work on i believe i think it will be better so if i click on the arrow here so yeah i think this looks much better so i can uh, go through some of these uh, checks like uh, i have some epics or it will take me to the actual uh, uh, epics so if you click on these links you can uh, take a look at the epics or maybe you know the respective issue types so it says uh, uh, first check stories should be linked to epic so pass stories should have estimated story points pass needs work epics should have an assigned fixed version so uh, you can see here on the right hand side some of the epics are without a fixed version and uh, there should only be one project assigned to a jira board which is also pass and so on so i think if you take a look at uh, this uh, report it will give you these uh, five uh, parameters i believe uh, i'm not i'm not sure if they have more oh yeah they, i think they have more so it says uh, let me just check the first one again so uh the first one also only have uh, i think only has like five checks the second one has five checks the uh third report has uh, seven checks which is uh I, i'm not sure why but uh, maybe there is a reason so i actually created this board called multiple projects board where i have issues coming in from multiple uh, projects obviously and i also used jira jira's next gen uh, projects uh, in this uh, uh, board i believe so it says uh, stories should be linked to epics uh, stories uh, should have estimated story points uh, they should have fixed version they should have uh, uh, only one project uh, i mean they should only be one project assigned to a jira board a mark custom field as optional not required okay yeah makes sense uh single sprint should only be tied to one board yes i agree that is correct uh sprints on a board should not have overlapping dates yep absolutely absolutely so i think uh, this is uh, i think uh, uh this report is uh really good i i think i like it if you are trying to implement uh, uh maybe uh i mean if you have trouble or if you have challenges scaling up uh when it comes to managing multiple scrum teams or multiple agile based teams i think this report will give you some indications uh, that uh, will probably help you in uh, making the right decisions in future so there is also an option on top called jira align export if i click on it i believe uh, it will do some export of uh, these reports I i'm not sure in which format but i can click on the button to find out so it says exporting your data your export will be ready and i believe let me just you now save it very quickly and open it and oh, it's a json file so it is not really a pdf which is fine and there is also a log so it will uh, tell you i believe uh, whatever you have been doing so i think i think it is also good uh let me also do the same thing on the server version of jira so it is a bit similar the interface is similar and uh, i believe the behavior should also be similar so my uh, my instance of jira on server is actually uh, a bit slow so uh, i think it will probably take uh, a while for this to load 
but overall i think it looks uh, similar and it says here the message is really uh, assuring it says uh, this can take up to 3 minutes so i'm not sure what will happen after 3 minutes maybe they will uh, uh, just uh, stop the loading of uh, jira boards but this instance of jira is not really huge uh, i think i just have like few boards where i did some you know testing but i'll probably go back to my jira cloud and uh, uh, while the app is still loading the boards on the server let me just see if i can do anything else here so this uh, uh, i mean uh, I, I believe uh, the checks depends on how bad your instance is so maybe if you have like uh, not your instance but your board so i think if you have like uh, issues coming from multiple boards uh, then it will probably show you maybe a few more checks. So let me click on the report here. So yes, I think when you have like a single board uh, with maybe issues coming from multiple projects, I believe, then I think the checks will be uh, maybe more. Uh, and my server is still loading the loading Jira boards. But I, I don't think I should blame them because uh, I... I mean, if I look at the marketplace listing, it says on top, uh, this uh, chat by Jira line is compatible uh, from 7.13.0 till 8.4.1. And uh, I'm using, uh, I tried to install this on uh, 7.10. Uh, I, I was able to install it with the help of the jar file. You can always download the jar file of uh, a specific uh, app by going to the versions and then going to the see all version link and if you click on the download link here you will get a jar file that you can potentially install and it might work but i think of course you should uh, uh, you should probably uh, not do it on the production instance where you should follow the compatibility because this compa compatibility is really important when you're trying to install apps uh, you should make sure that the apps are compatible at least uh, uh, look for the recommendation from the vendor. Anyway, so I think we are probably going slightly off track and uh, let us focus on the topic. So overall, I think uh, this app is, uh, is, is I think it's, it's useful if you're trying to do something with the safe or maybe if you're trying to uh, maybe scale up uh, or maybe you're trying to implement uh, a safe uh, and you're struggling and you're not really sure uh, what things you are doing wrong so i think this uh, report will give give you some indications and you can uh, take some uh, proactive measures uh, early and uh, and uh, to be honest uh, this is uh, something uh, i am personally quite happy with i think this is i think these kind of reports are really good that will help you or that will probably remind you with the uh, the best practices and if you're doing something wrong then you shouldn't do it and so i think overall i think i'm i'm happy with this app and this is all i want to share in this video i hope you learned and you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much